Let us talk about client-side encryption for S3. So this is when you encrypt your own files before uploading them to S3. This provides a guarantee that AWS and no third party can decrypt your data. I wanna make a distinction here between this and SSC-C where you are generating out a key, but the difference is that uh, KMS is the one server side that is decrypting it, uh, whereas in here, there's no server side decryption happening, okay? It's all client side. So there are various AWS SDKs that have built in code to make it easy to encrypt your data. Here's an example with Ruby. I've looked at all the different SDKs. Some are much easier than others. Um, but the idea here is that we are requiring open SSL. We did this kind of before with uh, SSC hyphen C where we use bash terminal to use open SSL to generate a key. So we generate a new key here and then we're configuring it globally for the S3 client um, so that anytime we do a put or a get, it's going to automatically use that key. And so here um, we have a key and a bucket and then we provide some data. So this is the secret data. And notice we put the object, so we send it to S3. And then when we do a get object, it, when we read it, it's going to decrypt the data. But I need to make the distinction here that this is happening client side. You, this, this key never went to AWS. It just stayed on your computer and it's just here in the configuration. If you were to create a new client, uh, so this configuration here is not gonna be applied, then it's just gonna return the cipher text because that's what it is. Without the key and you don't decrypt it, you just get a cipher text back. So there you go.